Welcome to Channel 5 News, the world's top stories and the ones that matter to you. I'm Alistair Douglas. Tonight's top story is one of prejudice and segregation. It seems that even in 2014, Hollywood wants to cast white men in non-white men roles. I have with us via satellite, Ricky Raccoon. Ricky is one of the founding members of RAG, that's the Raccoon Actors Guild. Ricky, how are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm going to get right into it. How do you feel about Hollywood digitally creating a raccoon and casting Bradley Cooper to voice him in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy film? I mean, this is obviously robbing hardworking actors of work. Hmm? Oh, yes, yeah. Well, how do you feel about this being the norm? Because this goes deep into Hollywood's history, and as far back as Jaws and men in ape suits and Planet of the Apes and even Godzilla. Oh, Disney sat down with you? Oh, you, you rummage through their garbage. Huh, that's not a contract, I don't know what is. It's how most of my colleagues got work. <laughs> how terrible. Where's your Blackfish documentary, indeed. Thank you for your time, Ricky. Go to our on the street reporter, Michael Williamson with a group of angry protesters protesting the Guardians of the Galaxy films. Michael? Thank you, Alistair. I am here with a group of angry protesters, a protest that has apparently been in the works for years, protesting the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I am here with Kimberly, someone who's very upset with this upcoming Disney feature. Kimberly, please tell us how you feel in your own words. Oh, oh, Kimberly. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm aware that your name is Kimberly, but how do you feel about Vin Diesel being cast as a tree, a man who can't photosynthesize in real life? Oh, oh, Kimberly. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes, I'm aware that... Oh, excuse me, Just come with me, please. We, we have a Channel 5 exclusive here. We are first on the scene on what appears to be a gruesome, gruesome scene. Viewers, please be aware. I must have warned you. Oh, my goodness. Never have I seen such dedication to a cause. Much like the monks, who felt the only way to get their message across was by setting themselves on fire for the public to see. We have a young man who only saw one way to let Dizzy know how he really feels, and that was by taking his own life. For Channel 5 News, back to you in the studio. Our own Allison Dinkerson took to the streets to gauge citizens like you how they felt about this Hollywood trend. Hi, I'm from Channel 5 News, and I'm here with Jennifer Parker of South Compton. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm actually from Beverly Hills. Huh. Well, how do you feel about Marvel casting a black woman, Zoe Saldana, as a homicidal alien? Do you think it's offensive to aliens? <laughs> Mrs. Parker. I got you, Mrs. Parker. BZ Parker, please. Back to you. Thank you. Hard-hitting stuff. Our next story, rape. Is it good for you? Some Republicans think so. 